Bloody self! Fucking cheeky is that? Six o'clock in the morning, waiting here by myself with my mum for my mum. So landed back in the UK, and I'm here, currently in uh, Heathrow waiting area, national destinations number 16. In case you're worrying, uh, I thought you know, let's do a quick video about the, some of the stuff we're excited to see. Crazy views this channel's been getting the last few last few days. Um, thank you to everyone that's been watching. I really appreciate it. And, uh, love you all so much and if you're new to the subscribe to this channel then uh, this year I've been covering significant amounts of Reading coverage I've gone over every single artist bar one of them which we'll be doing this week in the rundown to Wednesday oh, I can't believe that I just traveled from the other side of the planet to be here and uh, to go sit in a field for three days five days six days madness so I thought we'd start off by just looking Oh, who we're most who I'm most excited to see uh, on the Friday at this year's festival. So the Friday is always a big, a big one. It's the first day, you've got the most energy, and uh, there's some acts are playing that Friday that I think it's worth just mentioning. You can't miss them. Oh well, that's not going to do my fucking sound any good, is it? Fucking going to pick up nothing but Ed Sheeran. Right, well in the background over here, what you're hearing is uh, Ed Sheeran sound checking while it's pissing it down with rain outside. Let's go down here. Try and not get rained on too badly. So, I just bought this new camera. This is the DJI Osmo Action, which I think is absolutely great. Uh, a little bit of a delay on the screen, oh well. But, I'm back in the UK. Rainy, glorious, United Kingdom. Um, it's uh, given me a warm welcome of Lovely, cold, dreary. But I've just showed the weather for Reading next week and it looks delicious, so I think we're uh, we're in luck. Let's try and get away from this fucking sound, shall we? Fuck Ed Sheeran. So, Reading and Leeds next week. Mega excited, it's raining. I'm going inside now, this is too much. This is too silly now. We'll, uh, we'll figure out a different thing once you stop fucking sound checking, shall we? So, uh, yeah, let's just have a little wander around. You're gonna hear Lewis Capaldi bouncing, bouncing off of all of the uh, speakers at the moment. He used to point Ed at Round Hope Park and my mother lives very close to them, so. Thought we'd have a little wander around. I've got a, I'm, if I make no sense right now, it's because I'm jet lagged out of my absolute face. And uh, I just hit an absolute brick wall. Always fun. Hopefully, with any luck, the weather isn't this bad by this time next week. Because this time next week, we'll be watching some wonderful music. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit excited. It's like my favourite time of year, so it's no surprise there, really. So I thought it would probably be a really good idea to just go over some of the people that I'm really, really excited to see on that Friday. Um, those of you that have been following this channel up until now will know that I've been doing a series called Who The Fuck? And I'm in, within that, I've been going over some of, I've, I've gone over every act and, and, and the ones that I'm excited to see. I've scored every single one of them out of 10. But what I want to do is just look at each day and just kind of go with the bands that are unmissable, that you really should go out of your way to check out if you're, if they're not clashing with one of your favorites. And the first one I want to talk about is the Chats. Now the Chats are from just up the road from where I live in Australia. Uh, they're from Noosa, which is a beautiful, beautiful part of the world. There's a fucking Ed Sheeran concert going on behind me. Buses left, right and centre. It's pissing it down with rain. Fuck, I miss this country. So, uh, yeah, the Chats, they're from, they're from Noosa, uh, which is a lovely part of the world. It's, yeah, very, very pretty, just in kind of southeastern Queensland in Australia. They make a wonderful, wonderful punk music, man. They, they, they've been... I first came across them from... It was actually someone, uh, one of the commenters on this channel, put them out to me and said, you know, they're a band that I need to check out, I'd really like them. And just fell in love with them, they're, they're amazing. First heard them with the record Smoko, which is brilliant. Then fell in love with Pub Feed, love Identity Theft, I think it's a wonderful record. And yeah, just since then really, I've been really excited by them. They've been announced to play the Friday on the Festival Public Stage. Uh, sub headline, I think, just before Hobo Johnson, which is well exciting. Uh, I think they're an amazing band, and you know, if, if you like any form of political music or aggressive music or anything punky, then they're right up your street. There's an amazing picture of 
Alex Turner, Dave Grohl and Josh Hom having a drink with them the other day which was just amazing so backing from some big people making some wonderful sounds highly recommend checking out the chats well I don't think you're going to hear much of me now but there's Lewis Capaldi playing around the corner which is pretty exciting I'm trying to get a little sneaky video of him but you can't really see much right well <laughs> It's some super epic exposure. I've got to figure out some settings on this bad boy. It's a little bit quieter, so you might be able to hear me a bit better. And it seems that the rain isn't that bad, actually. Next, uh, ne <laughs> next on the list uh, is another Australian band. They're from the northern shores of Sydney called Ocean Alley. Now, I did one of my last Who the Fuck videos was about Ocean Alley. They're a super cool blues, rock and roll, surf rock. Yeah, they're just really lovely. Uh, they're taking to the Festival Public Stage pretty early on the on the Friday at Reading Saturday at Leeds. And I think that they're they're really, really wonderful. Uh, they're they're playing a pretty early slot, which I think is really special. They're massive in Australia. When I say massive, I mean absolutely colossal in Australia. Triple J Hot 100 winners this year. Uh, they're on their, just about to release their third album. They're amazing. <laughs> well, there's the ballad, isn't it? Go on, Capaldi. Anyway, they're playing really early, they're playing a really early slot on that Friday, and I think that's going to be a super special time to say that you saw Ocean Alley. Historically, Australian bands don't do as massively in the UK as they do in Australia, but you know, I think the, the last few years there's been just this amazing push. Bands like The Chats, bands like Ocean Alley, um, the Gang of Yous, Amy Shark, Tash Sultana, uh, Flume, Tame Impala. There's loads and loads of amazing Australian bands. Um, and for whatever reason, they're just not being picked up over here. So if you want to go see something that's really cool, really different, I highly recommend Ocean Alley. That's it's going to be one to miss. If you've got any Australian friends and you want to rub it in their face, that's definitely one to go and check out. Ocean Alley, definitely don't miss that. The next band are a band that haven't played Reading in a few years, and that's Royal Blood. You know, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a minute since we've seen them. Uh, they obviously jumped onto the scene with records like Out of the Black and Little Monster and then came back with that second album which was just absolutely brilliant really built them up as a band and now they're back to sub headline on that Friday at Reading I'm absolutely gagging for that set if you're a fan of rock music or hard music or heavy music uh, if you're a fan of big music with guitars Royal Blood have to be up there as one of the bands that you're excited about this this year. Um, I think they're absolutely wonderful. If I'm honest, I'd really like to see them come back in the next couple of years and headline. I think that would be massive for them. Whether or not that's a reality or not, I, I really don't know. I, get, I guess I'd like to hear some new music from them. Um, I don't think they've released anything new. They've recently been touring, which is cool. Got some amazing comments on my video about that those recent gigs. So clearly, there's they've been doing some wonderful and great things. So I'm really excited to check them out. Good to have them back, man. Two people on stage making a lot of noise. Royal Blood, absolute cannot miss on that Friday. Friday at Reading, Saturday Leeds, going to be amazing. Wait, is that blue sky? So next, I want to switch over to the dance stage, and it's it's an act that I'm really, really excited to see more of uh, in the future, and that's Prosper. Uh, to talk about Prosper, we kind of have to talk about dance music. I discovered my love of dance music really when I was about 16 years old. I discovered drum and bass, which led me to discover Electro House, uh, Fidget, Wobble, um, absolutely fell in love with dubstep. One thing that happens in music is that there are trends and the, ch the trends change. Sometimes the musicians change with the trends. Um, and there's, that's happened countless times over the years. You know, if you look at what Tiesto was making in the early noughties versus what he was making, uh, what he's made, been making recently, they're very different sounds. Some people like Calvin Harris. After kind of dubstep had its day, a lot of people moved over to drum and bass because it has such a staple scene and, and is kind of, it works. Um, but over the last few years, deep house, tech house, house, tropical house, uh, garage, have all been kind of the zeitgeist in, in terms of like British dance music. I think that probably just started with Disclosure. People like Gorgon City took that and ran with it. There's, there's plenty of examples of people that have done one of the brilliant and wonderful things with, with house and, and dance music over the last few years. I have to say, as, as, it, as it kind of turns out, I'm not the biggest fan of house. And I think what we're seeing with Prosper is 
something that is new and is exciting. They're not doing a standard 4-4. It's a little bit more old school. It's a bit more ravey. It's kind of got a two-step breakbeat kind of feel to it. All the songs they've released this year I've absolutely loved. And I think what we're seeing with Prosper is a change. A change in, in kind of what's normal and what's, what's acceptable. And yeah, changing the sound. I think that's really, really exciting. I think that they'll go on to do massive things. And I'm really excited to see what that is and hopefully this kind of stale house sound that's been so popular over the last few years is kind of now coming to a close and we've got something a bit newer on the way that's my hope with it i could be talking out my ass but hey that, that would be great i think that would be absolutely wonderful so yes next on the list prosper taking to the dance stage on the friday reading saturday at leeds really interesting to see how this set sounds and kind of what uh yeah what's what's in store for them and the future of dance music and last of all, we're going to head back over to the Festival Republic stage for an artist that I knew nothing about when I started this, this series, and that's No Roam. Now, fans of the 1975, fans of Wolf Alice, fans of Just Banco, fans of Pale Waves, they're all signed to a record label called Dirty Hit. Dirty Hit have really changed up in independent music in the last few years. They've had some really, real good wins, especially with bands like 1975 and Wolf Alice. I mean, they've just done wonderful things this year. So I did this video about No Roam, who's this, who's this guy from Manila in the Philippines, and is just a really wonderful character. Makes really, really kind of in-depth pop music, was quite influential on the recent 1975 album. Just a, a really interesting guy. Really, really intrigued to see how his set turns out. What shocked me the most about him is, is actually just how many people have watched the video I made about him. It's like four and a half thousand views, it's crazy. He, re he did a record with Matty from the 1975, so whether Matty comes out for it, they play on the same day, so it's a possibility. But I think that set is gonna be something really exciting to check out. And I really think that if you're a fan of anything that's come out of the Dirty Hit Camp, if you're a fan of the 1975, if, if you're a fan of kind of modern pop music, this set is gonna be something to to check out because I think he's only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Would be my guess anyway. And to see him play such a small set on such a small stage, it's a really lucky thing. That being said, I don't think we're going to be lucky enough to get anywhere near that 10. I think it's going to be absolutely ramajammed of 1975 fans, so... Who knows? Interested to see how the wind picks up on this one. But those are my top five acts that you need to check out on that Friday. There, of course, are plenty of other fantastic acts playing that one. These are just the top five you cannot miss sets. I will do my best to get to them. However, there are some clashes, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. What do you think? Who are the absolute must-sees? I haven't included any of the headliners in this for obvious reasons. They're the headliners. If you're a headliner, then you're top of your game. So, you know, it's obvious you can't miss that. Uh, and that Friday's a big one. Yeah, Bowling for Soup, Hobo Johnson, Camel Fat Dave in the 1975, and Dappy, but I wasn't going to count that. I'm interested in your thoughts. Let me know what you have to say in the comments section below, as always. Um, yeah, the channel's been getting some great, great, like, conversations over the last few days. Uh, I'm just going to go back home now and sit and comment through, reply to every comment, because it's, uh, it's time. It's good to be back in the UK, and I'm really excited to see, see all the bands at Reading next week. It's going to be absolutely wonderful. And it looks like the rain stopped. I love it here. It's good to be home. Take it easy. See you tomorrow. Bye. Also, it's seven o'clock at night. And it's seven o'clock at night. Can't believe it. It's not pitch black. How bizarre.